Hi folks, this is next from uh, Zeromax.com, so I've got unboxing of something. Find out here. Let's see what we got inside, baby. I've been waiting for this forever. I've got the uh, stereo video mic. Oh yeah, baby. This is like the the not the professional professional but professional stereo bi microphone you can buy without spending more than a couple more well, I think it's like two something so that right here video mic seems like this is a pretty new unit so it comes with a sticker maybe I'll stick it somewhere and uh, a bunch of stuff um, I don't know what these are for, but it also comes with uh, the rabbit dead kitten. Comes with a dead kitten. I wonder if they actually made it with the dead kitty. <laughs> and it's a simple device, very simple. There's an on on button here. Let me give you a close up. Just use my Canon 7D Canon. Remember, guys. You're supposed to pronounce it the cool way. Canyon, not canon. Anyway, this is the Rode SVM. This is made in Australia, on off button. Uh, I'm not sure what that is for, but I know that's for like a um, high pass filter. So it'll filter out any background noise. And it's a simple jack. And also, you can put it on your boot, the SLR boot. That's what I'm going to do. And actually, I'm going to use the. I'm gonna put the button on. I'm loving it already. And let's put the mitt on. I can get a bigger mitt. I heard it works better. Um, but this one, I'm going to start using it to record my videos. So it's going to look... I'm going to get some stereo sound. You're going to love. You'll be able to hear everything a little bit better. So that's what it looks like. Um, and I'm going to... I'll have a video. My... Uh, video review. I'm going to go out to the, um, does this come with a battery? Ah, damn it. I don't think it comes with a battery. Um, I've got to find out how to put the battery on. And it's, I think it's somewhere here. Pull it. There you go. So you'll need a 9 volt battery. Um, do I have one? Go out to the store real quick. Anyway, that was an unboxing of Stereo Video Mic. I'll have a full review of this uh, and what I do. I should update this video with the link on it. So click there if it is there. Um, but oh, I'm so excited. This thing, it's supposed to. Oh, let me show you some of the features on the box. It's supposed to be broadcast sound quality, um, low noise circuitry, two step high pass filter and pad, rugged. Cast aluminum body, custom design, inter integral windshield. I don't know what that means. Dead kitten, low handling noise. There's also a. Oh, this thing's kind of cool. It's it's actually a spring action, and I guess that's what it's for if you lose it. So it, any vibrations, it'll it'll just absorb it. And I know there's a um, mono version. Hi folks, actually uh, my video got cut off. Um, so while that was cut off. I've got a battery. Um, there we go. Plus and minus. And uh, you know, one thing about DSLR equipment or camera equipment in general, you don't you don't want to get crappy stuff because they'll break. Um, I've gotten one of those APEC. Well, they'll not break, but they they perform sucky. And you know, when that happens, you'll you end up spending more in the long run. It's better to spend more money up front and get the right equipment because it can last you a long time. Especially like my Canon 7D that I'm using to record right now. It's been, uh, I've been using it for nearly two years and it works fine, and, you know. Whereas before I spent this money on this, what was that called? I actually have it here. I was trying to save money when I was first uh, switching from my digital camera. I bought this. Uh, the cheapest 1080p HD camera 
The microphone on this, actually the HD is not, HD is not too bad, it does 1080p. Um, but in low light, any, anything less than like bright light, you can't see anything. Um, and I haven't used it since. This thing is a piece of crap. And I spent $150. And then later I found this camera and as soon as I had enough money, I was like, get the Canon 7D. But this is a really good microphone, stereo microphone. I read all the reviews. Anyway, uh, I'll show you the switches. That's on and off. And this is for the high pass. If there's a lot of uh, background noise, you can turn it on, like if you're out in traffic or in the show. And also, this is additional. It gives you negative 10 decibels. So if it's a like a loud concert or something, you can pull that on. I would put, I would probably set it at there. But I'll, I'll show you. Um, well, this is my first time using it. Let's go use it real quick. I don't know why the light doesn't come on. Did I? Let me try it. And I'll, I'll have my, um, I'll have, I'll record it on the side, so you can see, um, actually, you know what, I'll just put it on right now. Hi, folks, so I'm going to start testing the camera, or uh, the Rode SVM stereo. Um, this is with just my, uh, Canon 70, the MIC microphone on it, and now I'm going to plug in the Rode, okay? So now, Rode SVM is the microphone, and, uh... Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to turn on the high pass, see if it makes any difference. The high pass filter is supposed to filter out any um, big noise. So I'm turning, it, I'm turning it on now. There we go. So that's the high pass filter and I'm behind the camera. I don't know how the sound is going to come out. And then I'm, I'm going to turn on the, the uh, negative 10 dB. So in a big concert setting, I guess you would you do that setting um, and then I'm going to turn off the high pass and then just leave the negative 10 dB and then I'm going to turn everything off again so that's the regular setting um, so this should give you an idea of um, how well this microphone works and uh, I'll keep testing it I'm going to go out to the beach later and test it out well actually you know what I'm going to go to my backyard now and have a little test video so it's going to be very interesting anyway um see y'all later subscribe i'll look out for my next video that will show you um some of the cool stuff about this stereo microphone all right see y'all later